Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, so this is crazy because um, do you guys send this video over of Ella Ninfas uh, covering SB 19s so one of my favorite songs. Tila Luja. SB 19. That's right. I think I say it every time this song is in the channel. I'm like, it this is, is one of my it's favorite. It's a great songs. song. It's one of the best songs I think SB 19 <laughs> has made, and I and I've been liking a lot of Ella Ninfas work lately. Um, so let's give it a watch. I do also want to say, do tune in uh, on Sunday because um, I, I, I would love it if all of you guys would tune in and, and show uh, our guest, Yumi, uh, from the Philippines, actually, uh, all the support in the world. Uh, she's a class act and yeah. uh, the, the, the podcast got fucking... It got real for it got a second. Real. You know? It got honest. So it, it's really dope to, to be able to have those conversations thanks to the opportunities you guys have provided us. So I, I would love if everyone would go there, show their support and uh, and show her all the support in the world. She's truly an amazing talent. One of the most outstandingly uh, technically vocalists that Freaking we've seen. Hell, yes. um, but it seems, you know, things haven't aligned yet, but I, I, I still am hopeful. And this is someone else also that's very technically fucking outstanding at the moment is Ella. So let's give it a watch. Let's have a look, okay. Let's see the cover. This is like a section of, you know. Oh, okay. With whistle. There's a whistle note here. I love that picture of SB19. They look so happy. Yeah. They're having a blast. Oh, I listened to that track, dude. That's a good angle to analyze vocal shit. I like that girl, man. So bloody refreshing, dude. I also love that she's doing her version of this. Like there, there is a hint of the original, but this is her song. Should be an original, song. yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is her song. This is her time to showcase her version of this. And I think if you actually look at ASAP's reputation on this particular case, they really do let the artist kind of like embody their songs and and allow the songs to become theirs. It's like, I mean, you've seen it, Regine's, multiple times. Her covers become the most popular versions of the of the songs in the Philippines. If you've seen it other times with um, other artists when they collaborate together and that's the version that goes in the radio and people popularize. Um, well, I think it comes from that idea that specifically in the Filipino market, Yeah. Um, it seems the average listener enjoys more the live performance than the studio version. Um, and from what you guys have told me, this is also completely true, 100% accurate. So uh, I can say it with confidence now, this would be the version that if, if she was going to do a cover in a studio, much a lot of people would much rather see this on That's TV right. or see this uh, and then be mastered as the studio version yeah. um, and available on streaming pl platforms. But yeah. The, the ear in that market in the Philippines, it's tuned differently. People are it more really accustomed is. to re, real, raw, uh, uh, in the moment, live vocals. And it and it's really cool because in, in this particular case, this song has already been very loved by the Filipino market and actually internationally as yeah, well. Yeah, worldwide. So, it's so big. Yeah, so you have already, like you say often, like there is a sense of responsibility that comes with doing covers of really popular songs that already have a very special place in people's hearts because um, when you do you do covers like this you want to showcase what you're capable of doing your own version you also want to tell a different story with the same lyricism and the same chord progression but you also uh, are treading in dangerous you know 
terrain because this is completely new to the uh, to the to the audience. Yeah, people might have wanted something closer to the original. Exactly. But I find her so refreshing. I, so do I. Having having an alto uh, so young and having um, her approach to music and also being so refined in live music, uh-huh. it's so nice to see. And obviously, I think everyone's seen her grown up on TV, basically. Basically, so, yeah. And look, she's like a grown ass woman and stuff. So this is amazing. She's pretty and she sounds fucking unbelievable. It's so good to watch. It is. Woo! I love this angle, though. This angle is. I knew you're gonna love it. (laughs) Okay, let's talk about that that opening here. See, do you see how her tongue? <laughs> I love it. Let's just talk. Let's get technical. But see, her tongue concaves to allow her to be super grounded down here in the chest. I know you can't see that part, but this is a really good tell that she's trying to find grounding to her chest. And also, the soft palate right behind her teeth is really lifted. So you have an incredible amount of space that allows for the melody to just resonate in the back of the head. And it gives you this really cool full body sound without any effort. So it's really energy efficient. Look at it, look at it. Yeah, it's really effortless for her. This is like walking in the park. Sure. This would usually be the part where you're struggling in breath control sections because it's right at the end of the singing phrase journey. So you're really at the end of your uh, uh, airflow exertion. So in this particular case, with this technique of lifting the soft palate and finding grounding to your chest, you're allowing the the air to be super, super well refined and you never sound, sound out of breath. Yeah, yeah. Um, so her singing phrases can be as long as she literally wants them that's to how, be. And that's how she can elongate things. That's wow, right. I see. So that, that whole run is in one breath and it's... it's, it's Sounds easy and it's easily exerted by her too. See? Easy. I see it was all all of them. Ah. Go Sheena. Oh, Oh, Gigi. Gigi! What the fuck? Oh, I don't recognize I'm a big fan of that girl, dude. Gigi was carrying that tune, baby. That's awesome. Oh, Sheena, baby. Whoa, yes. Wow, grave! <laughs> I love that. I, I know that that's mental. not probably how you say it, but that's how I say it. Wow, grave! <laughs> oh, wow, grave! I don't know. You're the one that sings in Tagalog sometimes. But I don't speak Tagalog at all. That's I can true. kind of read it a little bit. Do I know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> but when yes. we do the live streams and stuff. People mm-hmm. always tell me stuff to say, but I never know if I'm saying what I'm saying is wrong. But everyone protects me, though. Everyone's so nice to me. They always say, Ephra, no, do not say that. So I have to, okay, okay. just pretend it's not there. <laughs> Don't read the one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Because it's like puta in amor. Ephra, I think, I'm pretty sure that sounds wrong. That sounds wrong in so many ways. <laughs> uh Okay, I mean, moving on from hey, that. By the way, please do tune in on Sunday. It will mean the world to us because that's what the podcast is about. It's about this. Yes. It's about discovering new talent. It's about discovering new voices and hopefully new people can also discover them regardless of where they are in the, in the world. That's right. And if there is another longer version of this yeah. somewhere where we can see Gigi's part and Sheena's part and everybody else, let us know. Drop it down below. Goodbye. All right, goodbye.